In this part of the lecture, we're going to go over a simple example of how to actually use a hash table in an example program. We'll implement a simple algorithm to efficiently detect duplicate strings in an array. The problem is stated as, given an array of strings, write a program that detects and prints the first duplicate string in the array. We'll solve this problem using a hash table. We'll insert each string that isn't a member of the hash table. If, however, we encounter a string that is already a member in the hash table, then we've found the duplicate string. And with that in mind, we can go ahead and code it. We'll begin by declaring a hash rec array that will be used as our hash table. We'll make the array size hash tab, which is currently defined as 512 but be sure to modify the array size depending on your application. Next, we'll declare a local variable i to index into the string array. We'll also calculate the size of the string array and store it in the variable n. The size of the string array in bytes can be determined using the size of operator. If I divide the size of the array in bytes by the size of each element in the array in bytes, then I can determine the number of elements in the array. Remember that a string array in the C programming language is usually an array of character pointers. Our next step is to initialize our hash table with empty buckets. Within the for loop, if the current string isn't in the hash table, then we'll insert it. However, and this is the key part, if the string is a member of the hash table, then we've already seen that string, and it is a duplicate. We'll print out the string and exit the for loop. Let's compile and execute this program. I've already written a simple makefile to compile and execute this program. In our string array, the first duplicate string is grape. We expect that string to be printed out. Now I'll modify the string array to remove the duplicate. If I compile and execute the program, I should see nothing printed out. Looks like it works as expected. In the next lecture, we'll be going over a bit of theory on hash tables. Until next time.